Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is a toy unboxing haul. I'll be unboxing a variety of different toys from LPS, My Little Pony, and Pusheen. In one of my last videos, I unboxed some Hungry Pits, and those were just the Hungry Pits I got from this trip. And, and if you want to watch the vlog of me getting these and toy hunting, there will be a link in the description and in the eye in the corner. Also, if you're wondering, I'm Snowseeker, one of the new mascots of Lily LPS. You'll definitely see more of me in MLP videos. Let's get started! Let's start off by unboxing the LPS toy. Here's one of the toys I got. I thought it was really cute and I thought it was worth getting. It has this little mini version of this bear. I'm pretty sure it's a bear at least. It was on sale for $10 as it was a Boxing Day sale. If you don't know what Boxing Day sales are, they're basically the sales after Christmas. Its name is Chestnut Bailey. I'm pretty sure this little bear is called Coco Lena Bailey. Those are such cute names. And this is the old logo on the back. I'm pretty sure this is part of the G4 line back in like 2015-2014 era. I'm definitely going to put this in my studio so I can have more LPS themed things in my room. I really love the design and colors like they really made it look like an LPS. Next I'm going to be unboxing the Cutie Mark Crew. I've never got one of these before, so this is my first one. Over the past few months, these have been really popular, so I thought I would get one to unbox. It says it's in series three. I'm not sure what series they're up to now, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the newer ones. It says to just pull the tab and pull the string inside, and then some confetti and the mini pony comes out. On the back, it says there's 24 to collect, so we're going to see which ones these are. And here it says something about the wedding bash, so that might be the series that it's in. This is a really fun idea, like the confetti makes it a lot more fun and a cool experience rather than just a normal blind bag where you just open it and believe it or not I actually do have scissors with me because most of the time in unboxing videos I never have scissors. I don't know if I'm opening this correctly. It's down here it says pull string to start the party. This has already got some confetti coming out so I'm just going to keep a pile down here. I'm going to try to rip this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna pull the string. That was underwhelming. <laughs> this is a big mess. And here it says which one it is. And there's the rest of the confetti in there. Here is the bag we got. I see something purple, so I'm pretty sure it's a spike because also on here I see a mini baby spike. Here is the mini spike we got. It's a different style than the usual pets and ponies they have, like it's a different type of eye. But I guess they're trying to make them look like baby ponies and pets, so it's pretty cute. And then it also came with an accessory, which is this crown and this heart that I think goes on here. I have no idea where this goes. This is what we got. So, oh, it goes on here I think. Which means Spike can go in the little crown now. It's so small, like in comparison to the pony. It's like half its size. I wasn't expecting to get Spike because I thought it was just the ponies, but that's cool that they included more than just the ponies, that they have all the different characters from the series. In the brochure, it's got a thing of all the characters you can get. That's cool, they've got different sets that you can get. The one that we got was in the bright colors set, and it was Spike. He makes the perfect royal tiara bearer. And I'm pretty sure this is from the Cantal wedding set. Next I'm going to be opening a pony that I actually got on Friday. I got this next pony locally from a shop in Whitcalls. Whitcalls is like this bookshop but they also have some toys. The next one is Soren. I believe this was from Rainbow Road Trip. It's the only movie I have not seen. Like I've seen every single thing of My Little Pony apart from Rainbow Road Trip. It says it's advertised of the My Little Pony movie but I've watched that enough times and I could be wrong but I don't remember him being in the My Little Pony movie. He might have had like a few second roll, but really don't remember much. On the back, it says it was $7.99, so I got it for like $8. And then it has this character with this really cool background. Like, I really like the color scheme of that art. There's this like holographic sticker. It's not as holographic on camera. That's so cool. I love how they did like the little shape of his cutie mark as the hole on the back. Sad onion. Like, I didn't know if I was too fond of the new series of ponies, but I prefer this mold of ponies over the other one. What I mean by that is I don't like this kind of mold, it's kind of creepy. 
But I like these ones, this mold, and the wings are huge compared to the G4 ponies. I like how they still add these brushes in the sets. When I was five, I remember when I used to get the ponies in stores, they always used to have these brushes and I would use them to comb the hair. Here is Soren. It's got this really cool design here. I really like that. Lots of people have removed it, but I think I'll keep it because it's quite a cool design. And I love the color of the mane. Like it's so vibrant, like a royal blue. The hair of the new ponies is kind of a weird texture. It feels more plasticky than the older ponies, but it's not as bad as the, like, the other ponies, but it's okay. And I really like the expression, like they don't really experiment too much with different expressions on ponies. The wings move, I did not expect that. That'll be good for videos. In the G4 ponies, the wings are just like in one position and you can't move them. So I like how they're thinking about how you can get creative with different positions. Here has the cutie mark with a lightning bolt and some wings because after all he is a wonder bolt so I like how they included that. It even has like in the show the texture of the hooves and the fluff like I really like how they included that. Like the small details really make a big difference. I'm really happy with this pony I'll definitely use it in more videos in the future. The next pony I'll be reviewing is Luna. If you didn't know, Luna has been my favourite character ever since I started watching the show. I love Luna, I love the colours, the art style, her character, like everything, so I knew I had to get Luna. Even though she was kind of expensive, it was worth it. Let's unbox Luna, I'm so excited! I was excited to get her because I never got Luna in stores. She was $14.99, but this was a sale, so I'm not sure what her original price was. It doesn't say. They did like this clear, transparent look, which will be cool to see what that looks like. And here it has on the back a picture of Luna from the TV show. Here it says, celebrate the night as well in other languages. Where do you even... So here I have my scissors, I'm going to just cut this bit here. I finally got Luna out of the box, so we're going to open her out of the plastic. That was a mission and a half. <laughs> Here is the comb. It is a cool magenta pink colour. And you can brush the mane and tails with it. I'm first of all going to take out the rubber bands so her mane can be free. With the G5, their manes and tails are a lot more vibrant colours, which is really nice because it's just very colourful and fun. I didn't expect the hooves to be stuck together. That's an interesting design. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but the eyes are really big <laughs> on the face. It takes up a lot of the room. The head kind of looks like a mega mind in a way. The shape of it is interesting. It's okay on a side profile, but face on, it looks like a mega mind. But I still love Luna because I love her character and really like the design of this figure. Like the little moons everywhere really add the whole night theme. I'd like to see a new pony where it has all its feet and not just two not this clear. That was the last pony I will be reviewing in this video. Now I'll be unboxing the Pusheen. I got two of these boxes. They are surprise plushes. We're in the box through these mini Pusheen toys. I've been collecting the merchandise for quite some time because I really like the character, the art style, and they're just really fun. And here it shows you it comes with an accessory that your cat that you get can go in. So it can be like a piano, or like a box, which is quite fun that you can change around it says. And it says there's over 60 plus combos where you can have. So I would like to get maybe the baking cat because I love baking. Or the cat on the book. Or the bag. I just like all of them. I'm happy with any of them. Let's hope we don't get any double ups. The original price was $18, but it was on sale for $15. A few dollars discounted. So let's get unboxing. I'm going to start off with this box. So I'm just going to rip this one open. Here it says it is Series 3 Places Cat Set. So that goes along with the theme with the different items you can get. 
so much. It is a cat with a little sheaf hat and it's so fluffy and you can put it on your bag and it can come out of the baking bowl. It has this little velcro bit. It can go into different accessories so your cat, your baking cat, could be in a box or it could be in the baking bowl. I've never seen this character before. I really like the colors and the design of it, like the little stripes and patches. I don't think it says its name in here, there's nothing else. I'm really glad I got the one that I really wanted. The Hungry Pets one. I am going to hope for the cat in the bag, the cat in the book, the piano, or the cat in the bed. It's the cat on the book. I really like this cat. It looks a lot like Pusheen, but like this chocolate brown color. And it comes off and on the book, so we can switch around the different accessories they're on. I really like the simple design. They're really fluffy, and I don't think you can open the book. All of the accessories are like this felt soft fabric as well. And yeah, I'm really happy with these ones because I didn't get any doubles and I got the ones that I said I wanted. It looks like it's on the baking book, and this looks like a cat bed now. Here are all the toys I got. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and seeing me unbox these. Comment down below which toy was your favorite. I'd love to know because I love collecting all different types of toys. So it'll be cool to see which ones you guys like. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.